Hi and welcome. Another thing we want to show to the user after a successful sign-up is welcoming Flash message. And that's what we're going to implement in this episode. We'll keep Flash messages and Redux stores global data for our application and we'll render it if it's not empty. And of course, we'll let user to close Flash messages as well. So now, at last, we need to introduce our first reducer for Flash messages. So let's open editor and let's go to client index file where we define, where we create our index. And now instead of this dummy reducer, we're going to use root reducer. And here let's import it, root reducer, and we're going to import it from root reducer file that we're going to create in a moment. Okay, so let's create one, root reducer.js. So to create root reducer, we're going to use combine reducers helper from Redux. And we export default combine reducers result, and we pass the object with all the reducers and it will combine it in one state object. So we're gonna call it flash messages like this. So now we need to import this flash messages from reducers flash messages like this. So now we need to create this flash messages reducer. So let's do this reducers folder flash messages.js and reducer is just a simple function that takes state and action and returns new state. So we're going to export default function and the default state is going to be an empty array representing the array of message objects and action by default is going to be an empty object. And for now, as we do absolutely nothing with this our reducer, we just return state. So it takes state and action and returns new state. So it would be nice to see our state. So let's set up and configure Redux Chrome extension. First, you need to go to Chrome store and install this Redux DevTools extension to your Chrome. And you can find the link below in the description. And after that, we're just going to follow the instructions. Uh, all we need to do is go back to our index.js file and here, instead of just applying, we're going to compose this apply middleware with this uh, line of code. So when we have DevTools extensions, we initialize it. And we need to get this compose from Redux. Okay, so now if we go back to browser and reload our page. And here, go to Redux. You can see the beautiful extension where we can see our state, which now contains just a flash messages, which is empty. But now when we change it, we can see actions that are dispatched and state, which is changed and even diffs and all this kind of very cool stuff. Okay. So now that we have reducer, we need to create action creator, dispatch it from our component and then make reducer to react to this action. That sounds complicated at first, but that's our bread and butter in developing with Redux and after a little practice that will become your second nature, I promise. So let's get down to it. First, let's create new action. So in client actions, I'm going to create flash messages.js file and inside of it, I'm going to export function set flash message and it takes message. So there are going to be two actions, spoiler alert. Uh, one for setting or adding new flash messages. Uh, let's rename it even to add because it makes more sense. We add flash messages to our collection of flash messages and it takes message. And in result, it returns type of add flash message. And that's the constant we're going to define in a moment. And we just pass this message object further. Okay. So this is our action creator classic without any thunks or asynchronous operations. So now we need to get this add flash message. So let's import it from add flash message types .js file. So let's create one types.js and inside of here, we're going to define our constant 
add flash message. We define constant. We use this constant in our action creator. So now we have this action creator. Now we need to dispatch this action from the component. So we go to our sign up form. And right here on a success where we have our redirection, before doing redirection, we're going to dispatch this action. So this action will be provided by the parent component to this component. So we're going to have this props and we called it at flash message. And the message itself is going to be an object with the type success because we're going to have several type of messages like success or error and text. And let's call it, you have signed up successfully. Welcome. Very easy. Now we need to specify that our component actually expects add flash message like this. And now we need to pass this function from a parent component, which is in our case, sign up page. So we go in here and here as well, we go in, we expect to have add flash message here and we pass it right here at flash message and of course we need to import it at flash message and we import it from actions flash messages and the last thing that we need to do is to pass it to our form component at flash message equals at flash message and of course we need to deconstruct it here so we'll have add flash message. Okay, so we have action creator. We, we dispatch this action from the component. Now we need to teach our reducer to react to this action. So let's go back to our reducer flash messages. And now we need to actually process this action somehow. So we do it usually with switch statement. So we switch by action type. And in the default case, we just return state. So I can remove this return state from here. And the case that we want to handle right now is adding flash message. So we have case add flash message. Okay, so we need to, of course, to import it. Add flash message, we import from actions flash message. Okay, so now what we wanna do, we want to return new state and that state is going to be an array with the state that we had before and then we add another object to this collection with type to be action message dot type and text to be action message dot text but also we want to provide an id because we're going to delete this flash messages from redux store by ids so I'm going to add another field ID here and I'm going to use short ID library to generate unique ID. So now I need to import short ID from short ID. And of course, I need to install it. So I'm going to install slave short ID. Okay. I've got an error here. Of course, I import constant not from the actions, but from types so yeah so now when I fix it uh, let's go back to browser I'm gonna reload the page and I'm gonna sign up so now that I have my form filled I submit it and voila you can see that uh, adds flash message dispatched and you can see the action here with the type of add flash message and the data that it passes and then we have the diff and that just means how our state changed. In this case, we added new element to our flash messages and we can see the whole state. And now it has the ID, unique ID, it has type success and you sign up successfully welcome message. Excellent. So the next step is to create components to render these messages and we'll tackle it in the next episode. And for now, just let's commit. So it adds flash messages reducer. That's it for this episode and I see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.